homemade noodles from the 1930s. If you follow my channel, you know that I've been cooking my way through our family's old collection of recipes, and recently I've been completely and utterly obsessed with this old cookbook that my mom gave me, The Victory Binding of the American Woman's Cookbook. And I've made a couple of really good recipes out of it, and I saw this one for homemade noodles. Now, I've always wanted to try and make homemade noodles, but I've never done it. And like a lot of these old recipes, they're not real specific. The recipe says to stir in sufficient flour into a slightly beaten egg to make a very stiff dough. So I had a little bit of free time after dinner tonight and decided to give it a try. Now the first thing I gotta tell you is it's messy. Second piece of advice I will say is to beat your egg and then add that to the flour, not add the flour to the beaten egg. It just seemed like it incorporated into a dough better. And how much dough I added to get a stiff dough turned out to be about a cup and three quarters of flour. Now, once you get your stiff dough, you're supposed to add some salt, knead it, and then roll out as thin as possible, almost as thin as paper, it said. And I got it pretty thin. The recipe also said that you can dry them and then save them. I cooked them up in some chicken broth, and my son said they were really good. He did say they were a little salty, so use a low-sodium broth or make your own broth. These are easy and simple. I say bring them past to present.